to Chickaboom Island. Yeah. We're so glad you're here. Actually, we did get shipwrecked, which was sort of a bummer at the yeah. time. Yeah. But now it's super awesome because we are just on Chickaboom Island, Island living the island life and learning all kinds of cool new stuff about the Bible. Yes, and we've been following this awesome map to learn about cool new things. Yes! So we followed the map to learn that God's word is true. Mm -hmm. Then we followed the map some more to learn that God's word shows us the way to go. That's right. And today our map has us heading towards buried treasure. I think that some fearsome pirates buried this treasure for us to find. Pirates? What makes you think it was pirates? Well, don't pirates bury treasure? Oh. Aye aye, matey! Oh. <laughs> yo ho, yo ho! Ahoy, land ho! Swamp the deck! Walk the plank! Shiver me timbers! <laughs> Wait, let's do all of our things that we're supposed to remember. And those three things you're supposed to remember to have a great time at Mosaic Kids at Home in Pirate Voices! Yeah! <laughs> okay, ready? Number one, honor your other crew and obey the captain in charge! Arrgh. Number two is keep the attention on Jesus! And number three is self-control. Control yourselves, pirate mateys. <laughs> Off we go to have a great day and let's stand up and worship. You're the first, you're the alpha Maker of the earth By your word, by your word You created Life out of the dirt Because you hold the world
find it in Matthew 4, 4. So easy to remember. All right, here we go. Jesus answered, it is written, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew 4, 4. Awesome! Yes. Hey, let's do it again. But this time, let's pretend to be flamingo. Ooh, we do have these nice flamingos on our shirts. So it's kids, do your flamingo balance and talk in your best flamingo voice. And we will say our memory verse together. Ready? All right. Matthew 4, 4. Jesus answered. It is written, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew 4 4. Oh, lovely. Off we go. they get to the end of the plank and have not yet said the same thing, they're walking the plank. Well, let's get to it. Let's play. Yeah. The first two words for round one are muffin and cloud. Oh, I wonder what they're going to do with those two words. No idea. Let's hmm. find out. Let's listen. Top fluffy. <gasps> oh, oh, so close. So close. Let's see. So close. That that's a step forward. It for is a step forward. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they do on this next round. Grandma. Oh, oh, oh they got it! Wow, wow. Well, well, they are well, much well, too well, good at this game. Who doesn't love a fluffy top? Fluffy top. They do have those fluffy tops, so really don't big. they? All right. Here we go. Round, round two. The words are jam, jam, and dock. Dock. Okay. Huh. Jam and dock. I wonder what they'll say. Don't Pontoon boat. Interesting. Okay. Uh, do you oh. know what a pontoon boat is? Well, it's like the boat so you can go out and have like little parties. Oh, around, like a jam. Yeah, I see, like I see. Yeah. Boat. <laughs> All right. Inner tube. Maple bar. Oh, oh. yes, okay. Um, maybe a, like, like a, one, okay. One more step forward yes, for you, yeah. girls. All right, next Another one. try. They're getting closer to the end. Yes, they are. Floaty. Mighty o. Let's see if they let's see what they can link these two together. Yeah, they're getting really close they're again. This is right they've got to get it this time, or else they're walking the plank. Green Lake. Oh, oh yes, yes. they do have a mighty O in Green Lake. Yes, and you can float on Green Lake. Oh well, that done, was a good ladies. one, well girls. Done. You did it. All right, well, so far they are still dry, they but are we're dry. on to round three, and they might just walk the plank we'll this see. time. We'll see. 
Round three, the words are bucket and caterpillar. Okay, what will they do with that? B. Cocoon. Not, not quite. Great. Not great. Not quite, but that'll be one step forward on the plank yes. for you two. Okay. Yep. Wait. Worm. Oh. Oh, awesome. Not quite. Not, not there, not there. Another step forward. Dig. Compost. Oh. oh no. Oh, not quite. They're, they're getting they're, closer. They're getting very close. They're getting closer. It's just that one word is very difficult. Yep. All right. Next one. What's the plank? Don't worry everyone, they have flotation devices to help them. It'll be all right. Looking kind of soggy. Yep, a little wet. Let's grab them a towel. Thanks for playing <laughs> Walk the Plank. We'll see you next time. See you then. Then you be the crew Do everything I tells you when I tells you what to do Yep! I'll be the captain, you be the crew Do everything I tells you when I tells you what to do yep. Row the boat with the oars Row the boat with the oars Keep a rolling to the shore Keep a rolling to the shore We'll sing on the sea just as happy as can be We'll sing on the sea just as happy Well, it looks like 
like these were different kind of pirates than we thought. Yeah, but like the best kind of pirates ever. So let's go find out more about this treasure in Bible time. Okay, let's do it. Want a clash? Yeah. Bring it on. Yeah. I know a king that is bigger than Kong. Uh -huh. I've got a song that I'll sting anything you bring and I'll sing it to you all day long. It goes like boom, chicka boom, boom. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Let me hear you say boom, chicka, boom, boom. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Everybody now boom, chicka, boom, boom. Let me hear you say boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Your word is so fresh, so fresh. Your word is so tasty, tasty. Your word is so fresh, so fresh. Your word is so tasty, tasty. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, One Two Samuel, One Two Kings, One Two Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, and Psalms. Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Songs Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentation Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, let me hear you go Amos, Obadiah Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Abaco, Kasafaniah Haggai, Zachariah Malachi, and now we're taking you higher Your word is so fresh Your word is so tasty Your word is so fresh Your word is so tasty it goes like boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Let me hear you say boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Everybody now boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Let me hear you say boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Acts, Romans, one, two, Corinthians. Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians. Colossians, one, two, Thessalonians. One Timothy, two Timothy, Titus, Philemon. Hebrews, James, one, two, Peter, one, two, three, John. Two Revelation. It goes like boom, chicka boom boom, boom boom, chicka chicka boom boom. Let me hear you say boom, chicka boom boom. Chicka chicka boom boom Everybody now boom Chicka boom 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 chicka chicka boom boom Let me hear you say boom Chicka boom 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 chicka chicka boom boom Hey kids! Welcome to Bible Time! I'm so glad that you're here today. So this month on Mosaic Kids at Home, we are learning all about God's Word, the Bible, on Chickaboom Island. So far, we've learned that God's Word is true and that God's Word shows us the way to go. Today on our treasure hunt, we found out some really awesome news that God's Word is treasure. But before we get started with Bible time, let's pray and invite God to come and teach us. God, thank you so much for your word, the Bible. Thank you that your Bible is true and that it shows us the way to go. Would you teach us about how your word is treasure today? In Jesus' name, amen. So, on our treasure hunt today, we found out that God's word is treasure. So for our Bible time today, we're going to read part of Psalm 19, which tells us about what a gift God's Word is to us. So I've got this treasure box that's going to help tell us about some of the reasons that God's Word is so special, like treasure. First up in the treasure chest. Let's open it up and see what's in there. It's a A+. Plus. A plus means 100% with zero mistakes. Sometimes you can get an A plus on a test or something and it means it's perfect. You did a great job. Psalm 19.7 says, the law of the Lord is perfect. This A plus reminds us that God's word is perfect. There's absolutely no mistakes in it. No red marks, no cross outs, it's perfect. Next up in our treasure chest, <gasps> what's it gonna be? <gasps> a tall glass of lemonade! Yum! 
So kids, have you ever been playing outside on a hot, hot, hot day, and then you take a break in the shade underneath a tree and have a sip of some nice, cool lemonade? Ah, so refreshing. So next up, in Psalm 19.7, it says that God's word is refreshing to the soul. This lemonade reminds us that God's word refreshes our soul. It helps to renew our strength and give us an extra boost to keep going. Kind of like lemonade gives you an extra boost to keep playing. What will we find next in our treasure box? Hmm. <gasps> it's a piece of rope. Huh, rope, okay. I bet you're wondering, what does this rope mean? Rope's not really like treasure. Well, this rope is very much like treasure. This rope in the treasure box reminds us that God's word is trustworthy. So I've got a little story for you. One time I was on a zip line, which is where you strap yourself into this harness thing with a lot of clips and clamps and straps, very secure. And then you attach the harness to this little tiny rope that is suspended in the air between two trees. All that's holding you up is your harness attached to this tiny rope and you jump off of a platform into the air and sail through the air. It kind of feels like you're flying, but you know that you won't fall because of that little rope that will hold you up. You don't have to be afraid because the piece of rope is trustworthy. It's gonna hold you up. And even though it was a little scary, I took that big jump and the rope really did hold me up. So the Bible's kind of like that too. Even if it feels like we're speeding through the air really fast, we can trust the word of God. And if we do trust in the word of God, it won't let us fall because God's word is trustworthy. Okay, back to our treasure box. What's next? Oh, it's some glasses. Glasses, is cool. <laughs> okay, well these glasses are here to help us remember that the Bible makes us wise. Being wise means having experience and knowledge and good judgment. It means that you know which choice is the right choice. Sometimes when you put glasses on, it makes you feel very wise. Can you kids all put your glasses on? Oh yes, you look so wise with your glasses on. Great job. Don't you just feel wiser with these glasses on, kids? Yeah, you all look very wise. All right, glasses off. The glasses remind us that the Bible helps us to become wise. It helps us to learn which choices are the right choices, which pathways are the right pathways to take. The Bible helps us become wise. Okay, next up in our treasure box. <gasps> What's it gonna be? Oh, two things. Candy and a piggy bank. Wow, okay. Is this like a, the Bible's like a sweet treat or a money or something? Well, the verse from Psalm 1910 tells us about what the word that comes from God are like to us. It says, they are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. Wow, this verse says that the Bible is actually more precious to us than even gold. Think about all the money in your piggy bank. Think about all the money in your parents' piggy bank. This verse tells us that the Bible is actually more valuable than all of that money. And it's sweeter than honey from the honeycomb. That's kind of like saying that the Bible brings you more joy and delight than even the sweetest sweet treat, like honey or your favorite kind of candy, or like even gummy bears. Yep, the Bible is sweeter than gummy bears. There are even more treasure surprises in our treasure box, but we've already found out so much and learned so much today. So now that we've got all of these treasures, Let's read that whole verse together and we'll point to the treasures as we go. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing to the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, 
making wise the simple. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. So kids, all of these things, all of these treasures are here to remind us that God's word is treasure. Can you kids say that with me? God's word is treasure. Awesome. So since God's word is treasure and it's perfect and refreshing and trustworthy, helps us grow in wisdom, what do you think we should do with it? Should we stick the Bible on our bookshelf, never ever look at it? Is that what you do with treasure? No. Should we put it under our bed and keep it hidden? No way! Should we read God's word and learn from it to refresh us and give us joy and help us grow in wisdom? Yes! Absolutely! So that's what we need to remember today. God's word is treasure, so we should bring it close to our hearts. When we read God's word, when we think about it, memorize it, those are all ways of putting God's word in our hearts. And when God's word is in our hearts, it makes our lives more rich and full of treasure. Now it's time to wrap up Bible time, but I'll pray for us one more time before we go. God, you are so amazing. Thank you for your word, the Bible, and the treasure that it is to us. Would you give us big hearts that are open to learning all kinds of new things from your Bible? In Jesus' name, amen. So, even though it wasn't really the treasure that we thought it would be, it turned out to be even better than we ever could have imagined. Yeah, that was so cool. I'm always going to remember that God's word is treasure. Yeah, well, let's take a look at our map. <gasps> hey, it looks like we might be headed to some kind of like ship or boat next. Yeah, maybe that means that we're gonna be heading home soon. <gasps> Hooray! Well, actually, I'm gonna be kind of sad to leave Chickaboom Island. I like it here. Yeah, me too. Well, before we go today, let's all stand up and worship God with all of our might by singing to Him! Yeah, let's do it! Just what your love has done for me yeah. 